Here is episode number four of the Logarithms in a Nutshell mini course in the nature of logarithms. Again, when you see log like that, it refers to the base 10 logarithm, although the formula that you see here will hold for logarithms in any base, provided that x and y are both positive real numbers. Remember, there's no such thing as the log of zero, no such thing as the log of a negative number. The logarithm of a ratio or quotient equals the difference of the logarithms with the numerator first, the denominator second. This derives from the same power of 10 principle that we saw for multiplication. Let's suppose just for a moment that you have 10 to the x divided by 10 to the y. That's going to equal 10 to the x minus y power. And that's going to hold for any real numbers, although for logarithms, as we saw, they must be positive real numbers. Let's provide an example. 10 squared divided by 10 cubed equals 10 to the 2 minus 3 or 10 to the minus 1. If we expand that out, 10 squared is 100, 10 cubed is 1,000. And 10 to the minus 1 is 1 over 10, or 1 tenth. Like that. Well, 100 over 1,000 is, of course, 1 tenth. Just go like that. 1 tenth. So that works. Well, that's one example. Let's look at, a, at another example. I think my black marker here is getting just a little bit over enthusiastic with this beige board. Let's switch to blue, see if the blue one will work. 10 to the fifth divided by 10 squared equals 10 to the 5 minus 2. Well, what's 10 to the 5th? 100,000. 10 squared is 100. 10 to the 5 minus 2 is 10 cubed, or 1,000. Well, that works. 100,000 divided by 100 is 1,000. Just lop off the two zeros like that, get rid of that extraneous comma, and of course anything divided by one is just itself. So that one works too. Now, the neat thing about this is that these formulas will work for any real numbers, including zero, including fractions, including rational numbers. But, the logarithm formula will only hold for positive real numbers. Going now to the mathematical logic way of writing this, for all x and for all y, I'm just doing this in pure mathematics <clears throat> to give you maybe a little tutorial in how that language works. In case you ever get exposed to that, it won't throw you quite as much. For all x and for all y, if x is an element of the set of positive real numbers and y is an element of the set of positive real numbers, oops, curly bracket, 
then the logarithm of x divided by y equals the logarithm of x minus the logarithm of y. For all x and for all y, if x is a positive real number and y is a positive real number, then the logarithm of x over y equals the logarithm of x minus the logarithm of y. This formula plus the one for multiplication that we saw in the previous video, episode number three, form the basis for a lot of logarithm principles in engineering, P particularly when we want to measure signal levels in units called decibels because we perceive sound and radio frequency signals and light and everything else not directly according to how intense it is but according to the logarithm of how intense it is. So if something gets ten times more intense we don't see it that way we see it a little differently and in the next episode when and if I get around to it we will deal with decibels meaning one-tenth of a bell or the unit called the bell is never or very rarely used anymore until next time Stan Jabalisco Signing off.